Hello, welcome back to BS Live. Um, in this video, I'm gonna talk about um, USDZ conversion once again, but this time I'll be a little bit more serious and with the, especially with the material, with the PBR materials that we can assign into uh, 3D objects and then we want it to be streamlined and it should go into the uh, USDZ objects um, all with the textures, mapping, everything should kind of work um, automatically. So let's say we're gonna recreate um, this. So I have this Susan, I have two models. This one with a metalness and roughness kind of separated. And this one I think with the metalness and roughness kind of using the same image. But it's basically based on this uh, texture, roughness, albedo, metal, normal. And the idea is that I want to be able to kind of assign all these uh, shader maps inside Blender, kind of like when we are working in cycles. You know, when you're working in inside Blender and you create these cycles material nodes, you want it to be automatic. So, yeah, let's basically get started. So, let's open Blender. And let's delete everything. Let's have just a Suzanne with a UV and bring it up a little bit. Save Suzanne. So this is Suzanne PBR demo. This PBR should be something that will work with a uh, USDZ, but how? Uh, I'll show you really quickly soon. So we need to work in cycles because cycles is using nodes. And let's create a new. By default, we are getting diffuse, but we want to be uh, it to be principal, because principles has all this uh, slot for color, albedo, metallic, roughness, normal. So it's all good, right? And we apparently have a way to do it automatically already, thanks to the guy who made Note Wrangler. So there is a note, this add-on called Node Wrangler, who made this, uh, some people made this, but I think Greg Zal started. And there's actually a bunch of hotkey that you can use with Wrangler, but the, I'm interested with the Control Shift T, add principal texture setup. So that's kind of automated the process. So let's try this with the principal BSDF selected, we can shift control T and select our material shader map. In this case, I will be using this sculpted floor boards and I have albedo, metal, normal, roughness already converted into JPEG. I'm using JPEG at the moment because uh, for a reason, PNG should work at some point. But anyhow, I'm selecting all this map and then set it up. So automatically you get this connected, everything is nice. We got all the color, albedo, everything's already to you. You don't need to kind of map it one by one. Okay, so this is good. You can use UP map and yeah, all good. This is your principle. I'll save it. If we test it out and with maybe sunlight, render it out and environment life so this looks pretty good I think the UV for Suzanne the default UV is not not great but it's not too bad either uh, smooth this see what we got okay so that's quite decent if you ever want to change the scale um, for now I suggest you to use the the scaling here Kind of scale it up maybe twice so you get more detailed small texture map okay okay so we have cycles but what is this having uh, to do with the USDZ so apparently we couldn't just export it as USDZ yet we can export it as GLTF GLTF coming from Kronos group actually have a PBR PBR nodes. So if you go to Kronos group and 
download their PBR nodes. They have a bunch of blend that actually have a kind of like a principle, kind of like their own node setup that will work with the GLTF exporter. So this is really good because um, as you can see soon, um, we can use this file export GLTF and that's gonna export everything like Suzanne with the material. Even if you have like multiple objects, it's gonna work as a single GLTF and then you can export the GLTF into USDZ. Okay, so it's a, mouth, it's a mouthful at the moment, but uh, I'll show you. Um, if I import the if I import the notes from Kronos Group, um, I have it here already. Principle, go inside the node tree. We have a bunch here. The metallic and roughness is the one that we need, but in, import all of them anyway. So append. So now all those nodes is inside Blender. It comes as a group and then just select the metallic roughness, MR. Metallic and roughness is the one material that uh, USDZ will love. It will work right away with a Pixar USD and then Apple USDZ. So this principle, color, should go into color. Metallic should go into metallic. However, you, you can see this is metallic and roughness together. That's uh, one thing we need to take care of. Um, but there's there's occlusion, there's emissive, so that's pretty good. There's also option for alpha. All right, so let's release this file, save as, save as new file. So now it's more like a Kronos GLTF shader that you can export. Uh, yeah, that's okay, that's quite decent. But this metalness and roughness is kind of weird at this moment because the idea is to put the metallic and roughness together as grayscale. I, I thought that we can actually separate the RGB like this and then kind of combine the RGB back but that's gonna create... It's, it's gonna work for Kronos uh, GLTF. It's gonna work like this. However... It's not gonna work with the Pixar USDZ, so for now, just maybe plug in the metal into metallic and roughness. So let's see what happens if we export this file, export GLTF in the on the desktop. I'll save it as USDZ Susan Susan demo USDZ Susan demo. Save the GLTF just a Susan demo export it let's see what we get let's stop <clears throat> oh we have the albedo and we have the metal where is the normal the normal didn't get exported because it doesn't like this normal map so just plug this into the normal save it again files file export gltf2 susan demo now we have the normal where is the roughness roughness will come later because uh yeah, because we need to kind of choose whether we want to use the metalness or roughness. Export it again. Anyhow, we should have all our map there with the material ready. If we test it using something like Clay Viewer, this is also open source. You select select your objects and drag it there. It should basically give the preview of how it should like look like as a GLTF. So Susan seems to be not uh, it's not subdivided. It's not divided. It's a maybe you want it to be smooth like this. So let's just apply file export GLTF. So this is high res Susan. Now we have this um, Iris. Okay, cool. The normal works, everything works. The setting of the normal, we can actually change over here as well. The normal scaling, metalness scaling, let's just adjust it a little bit. Metalness and roughness, this is really cool. It's really cool because we can just export it as GST, GLTF and then now we can convert it into USDZ very, very quickly. 
I'll show you how. Um, I have this thing from Casey Coley. It's basically a GLTF to USD converter. You might already know this from my previous video. And I have a notes here that says that should do the conversion. But I need to make a little bit of adjustment with the name. Maybe I can enlarge this. Okay. The first line use Python, GLTF to USD converter, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Susan, in this case, it's called Susan Demo, right? Susan Demo GLTF converted into Susan Demo. USDA. So USDA is as in as ASCII that we can modify later. But these guys should go here and then we're gonna output the USDZ. So this is what we need. Just copy this and then USDZ Suzanne. Just create a terminal on this folder uh, very very quickly. And we are inside USDZ Suzanne demo folder. We just drop our command line. And we are done. Um, I think. Yeah, we have USDZ. It comes with all the texture, everything. We don't need to worry about anything anymore. It just works. It's that simple, right? One thing though, if you look at the USDA, there's something that you need to change um you can see here read it through read through there's an okay this is the normal texture that's the shader mapping for the normal this is the base color you get it roughness roughness okay this should be one of them should be metalness all right and you can see the cool thing is that there's a scaling already being applied and the normal also being applied it's a uh, basically pretty cool everything works you just save this and if you go back to the command line here just rerun the USDA to USDZ it's gonna create the USDZ with a correct roughness and metalness it's ready now uh, to test on the iPhone so uh, let's do the reflector again I'll have to do this Okay, this is my iPhone 7 Plus. We have the USDZ working on Mac OS. Sometimes you have to test it on iOS as well. Doesn't always work. But it, it works most of the time. Save it into iCloud Drive. Okay, we have our Susan. A bit dark. I, I always find, found this to be a little bit dark. Maybe it's depending on my environment light. In my room as well and we just drop it on the keyboard there there you go it's that in that easy right it's really simple you have Suzanne you have this texture apply imagine if you have like multiple objects and the material everything uh, you want it to work like automatically streamline you know it's just you don't want to redo everything yet you, you don't want to manually do it in the past, I have been using the USD USDZ converter. Um, it's nothing. There's nothing wrong with that. You can still do that. Um, what I mean is that this a uh, XC run USDZ converter. This is also good because you can do it using command line, and you see you can assign maps like this color map normal, and you can use there's the default multiplier where's the multiplier there's a couple of options that's not with gltf as well you have to keep that in mind um, but for now i think it's pretty good you 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 can use multiple material and assign maps this is i think also very good and so far i've been doing it this way as well um for my material library i don't have much but uh really i I created this material node so I can just copy paste this uh, and just assign it to materials depending on my need you know what I mean so let's say let's say I want it to be like a uh, which material bamboo I like this bamboo so 
back to this guy. I can do it really, really quickly. For Susan, US, uh, Susan USDA, Susan Demo USDZ, Susan Demo X, and I can just assign the color like that. If everything works properly, I should have another Susan with a bamboo material. This is also kind of okay. It's pretty fast already. It's a it's a command line. Um, so yeah, it's a quickly. But but like like I said, if you work inside Blender, and you already have these nodes, and you have like many many materials, you don't want to redo everything using command line, right? It's kind of defeat the purpose of having to plug this. Um, so yeah, I think that's the workflow that I'm using at the moment. Uh, let me know what you think. Maybe you can you have something to add in the future. We're gonna have add-on anyway. I think maybe. So there you go. Uh, thanks again for tuning in. I'll I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.